Tanya. It's Monday, <laughs> and you're watching for a couple of gays with Tanya and Strag. Woo! Strag I'm so excited. And Tanya. Uh, this <laughs> week, our topic is our coming out stories. So, we're going to let you guys know about that. Okay, so in elementary school, um, maybe like middle, it was middle school. So basically, I was kind of outed. I didn't really tell people. But there were some things I did that kind of ma made it, like, obvious, I guess. But she likes someone, basically. Yeah, and then, like, that person outed me, which was my best friend, or one of my best friends, and, like, and they told, like, everyone, but no, no one really, like, took it seriously. So, luckily, like, and, and I denied it, because I wasn't ready to come out, obviously, because, like, I don't know, people weren't okay with it. My stomach hurts. Maybe it's the banana smoothie. <laughs> okay, so that wasn't really a big deal. Um, so I went on to high school, an all-girls school. Something was bound to happen. <laughs> and um, basically, it was freshman year, and like I, I was talking to someone, and like that person was already out. But who are we talking to? Monique? Yeah. That person was already out, but I wasn't, and, like, obviously, like, I wasn't... So gross. So, I wasn't ready to come out, but, like, she... She hella wanted me to come out, and, like, at now, like, I kind of look back at it, and I'm like... Shady bitch. Don't I'm just make, kidding. <laughs> no, like, I mean, it, I, it was a good thing, but at the same time, like, you can't just force people to come out. It's something that is a personal thing that like should be their choice and that person when they're ready yeah. you know they do it and i mean who knows when i would have come out if had i not maybe when she got with me maybe i don't know but like i mean it was pretty obvious like yeah but I mean, um yeah you were very flirtatious it was pretty but... obvious but like it's like one of those things where like it could be obvious and i have no problem showing like flirting but at the same time i won't actually say like if someone came to me and said like oh do you like girls no. yeah i would be like no <laughs> like you know and like that happened a few times so like freshman year i i came out to some people in uh at school at high school and then um my parents found out that same year it was horrible it was horrible that's when i came out freshman year and they it found was, out because they saw at, her text messages. At, at school, it really wasn't as bad as I thought it'd be. And then, like... So, yeah, it wasn't as bad as I thought it'd be. Except at home, it was. And it sucked. So, whatever. Mine has everything to do with her, basically. I've liked girls <laughs> before. And, like, I've been involved with girls, but not to this extent. And, like, I never really said anything. I never really thought anything of it. But... My freshman year, I told someone that I liked her, or that I thought I liked her, and then, like, people kind of just, like, brush it off or whatever, and then, like, the following year was when we got together, and that's when, um, like, I came out to, like, my best friends at the time, but I didn't really say, <coughs> like, oh, I'm gay, I was kind of just, like, I like her, and... I like girls and I'm with her and that's kind of how it was it wasn't really like oh you know I'm gay and then slowly like as we started going out like our whole school kind of found out about us and so like my clo I told my close friends and stuff like that and then I also told my mom like a month after we started going out and my mom was kind of like she wasn't mad or anything like that but she was kind of shocked and, um, but it, she's really cool about it. And then, I don't know how they found out, but, like, my dad and my stepmom <laughs> knew. And I think it's just because I didn't really hide it. I kind of just, like, I wore her sweatshirt around my house. I, like, um, I had, like, stickers on my, because we used to, like, write on tape. <laughs> like, like, Strag and Tanya on tape, and we would, like, wear it. All, it was really weird, I don't know. But, um, <laughs> I had that, like, all over my room, and I had, like, stuff of hers in my room, and, like, I guess they kind of just, like, they kind of knew who she was, so they were like, oh, okay, I think something's going on. 
And I also think something else was behind it. I feel like a friend told them or something like that. They found out and like a couple months later, like they they thought they were the first ones and they like told my mom <coughs> and it was kind of shady. And then they like told my whole family. Like I know it's them who told my whole family. Not everyone, but like my brothers and my cousin and my aunt and it kind of makes me mad because I wanted to be the one to tell people and like it sucks that like when I finally did tell my brothers like I told them through a text message and I told them like a year after I was with her already mm -hmm. was it a year? Mm -hmm. and like um and I was kind of just like I know you know already but I have a girlfriend and yeah like that's kind of just how it was and um, it sucks that they knew already and I couldn't come out to them myself because I would have done it way earlier and I would have said something and it wouldn't have been as awkward. So when you like, when you don't, when you're not ready to come out or when you want to come out, confide in people that you know you can trust. Like, don't, don't tell people who you know for a fact you can't trust. Sometimes people who you think you can trust will go and spread it around, but other than that, try your best to like, be the one to tell people yourself because it feels so much better when you tell people yourself and like when it's your story to tell and it really sucks when other people tell for you. That's my advice to you if you're struggling to come out. After like I came out and like someone else came out like a oh, hella people in our class came out like started coming out yeah. and like sophomores started coming out like it was just uh coming a out. A lot of people came out like around the same time i remember the same year i came out a lot of people came out too yeah so i mean like it, it quickly became like a comfortable environment yeah like our, our our school even though it was like a catholic school and like it was an all-girls school and stuff like that we like everyone was really accepting and like the teachers were even accepting and stuff like that as long as you don't flaunt your stuff like in front of them um, <laughs> other than that they were like That's accepting <laughs> yeah the yeah, teachers loved us. Story. Like they really did. It's so cool to like like our teachers would be like, You guys gonna go on a on a trip? Are you guys gonna come with us? Like you and Stra are gonna come? Like Miss oh, Miss Schroeder God. used to always do that. She'd be like, Oh you guys gonna come? And like oh, for and like Mr. Ma yeah, like, oh come on. Oh Mr. McGarry loved us. Remember when we talked to him about your pants and stuff like that? He was like telling us we should go to California. Did he really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, well, that, that's our coming out stories. I hope you enjoy them. Sorry, they're not like extravagant and they're not awesome, drama filled. Yeah, they're not drama filled or anything like that. Remember, we live near San Francisco. Yeah, so <laughs> it's kind of easier because people are used to it. And we yeah. can go outside right now and be lovers, and people wouldn't, wouldn't care. <laughs> be lovers. Have a great Monday, guys, and Kay. a great rest of the week. Bye.